Okay, I am doing this as a video response to Enter Sandman 3's video about how Jesus uh, took the throne in heaven in 33 AD after his resurrection. And may I say, bravo, Mike. Um, you've done a tremendous amount of homework with, with all of that, and I, I pray that it gives uh, JW out there something to think about. Um, if I may just put a little more icing on top of the cake, um, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses out there, um, your organization says that Jesus did not take the throne until 1914. Well, that's what it currently says. In the past, it has said that he took it in 33 AD, as, as Mike's uh, video did a fine job in showing. Um, here's my question about <clears throat> this interpretation of Ephesians 1, 20 through 22. Um, and for those of you who are insisting that, no, it doesn't mean that this is Jesus taking the throne as king. And I, and I posed this question to, I believe it was Ivan Defending Truth on the channel, and I just wanted to put it out there for everybody to think about. How do you think Ignatius of Antioch in 106 AD would have understood that passage? Um, in fact, let me go even earlier. How, how do you think Clement of Rome in 95 AD would have understood that passage? Or how about Tertullian in 200? Or Cyprian of Carthage in 250? Or how do you think Venerable Bede in 710 A.D. would have understood that? Um, how about Bernard of Clairvaux in, uh, I think it was 1110 that he was around? How about Thomas Aquinas in 1250? How about Martin Luther in 1517? How about John Wesley in 1750? Um, how about Charles Haddon Spurgeon in the 1800s? Um, and, you know, how about uh, Charles Taze Russell? in 1910. You know, at the end of the day, you know, what the Watchtower is doing, you know, they're overturning 1950 years or so of the understanding of Ephesians 1, uh, 20 through 22 as, as being, this is when Jesus Christ took the throne Basically telling everybody in Christian history, no, you're wrong. He didn't take the throne then. That means something else. And, you know, they're doing it for the purposes of propping up one of their own unique doctrines, that Jesus didn't take the throne until 1914. Uh, I don't know. I mean, do you think that's good?